Hey, hey everyone, let's go through one of my favorite functions in Excel, the filter function. And in particular, I'm gonna use this filter function to build a formula equals filter contains something. So it's gonna contain a word or contain a bunch of letters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna filter this table on the left and bring back anything that contains what's in my search box here in H5. So I'll change this to analyst. And what it's doing, we're looking at the big money corporation banks jobs and the employees' names. And it's bringing back anything that contains analyst in the job title. You can see if I change this to say manager, and I'm not even gonna type in the whole word manager, I'm just gonna type in manage. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna search through that box or that table of jobs and find anything that contains the word manage in the job title. And there you go. So it's really, really simple. I'm gonna build this formula pretty quickly, so just pause and rewind if you need to. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just delete the formula that we have in there already, and we can start again. And I just wanna show you the filter function and the three pieces of information you need. Equals filter, and the first thing you need to put in here is the array or the table you want to filter. B7 to D175 in my instance comma, the include section of the formula is what needs to be true or the condition that needs to be met for the filtered values to appear. So I'm just going to type in the row that I'm looking in, B7 to B175, where it equals what I've typed in to H5. And if that condition is true, it's gonna bring back the filtered values. And if they can't find anything where it's empty, so this is the third part of the formula, I'm gonna type in the words, no jobs. Close the brackets and press enter. And if I scroll to the top there, there's actually nothing that came. And that's because there's nothing in this job title list in column B that has manage exactly as the job title name. Now, if I typed in bank teller, that's gonna actually work. It's actually filtered that list to exactly what's in there, bank teller, and it's brought it back. But if I bought back, if I typed in tell, it's not gonna appear because it's not contains yet, it's just exactly matching. Okay, so let's go back into the filter function. And if you remember, the second part of the formula is what we need to change for the condition of is tell contained in the job title, not equals the job title. So in column E, I'm just gonna show you how I build this formula and we're gonna delete this later. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use the search function, equals search. I'm gonna search for H5 or what's in H5, comma, and I'm gonna search for it in cell B8. And it's come back with an error, and that's because tell is not part of insurance advisor. If I drag that formula down, a number appears any time that tell does appear in the job title. And what that number represents is it's the sixth character along where tell appears. That doesn't really mean too much. All we need to know is, is there a character or not? So the second part of the formula that we build is the equals is number formula. So is equals is number, select the cell before. Is that a number or is it not a number? False, that is not a number, it's an error. If I drag that down, when it becomes a number, it says true, when it's an error, it says false. So I'm gonna use these two formulas and nest it within my filter function to create this equals filter contains formula. So let's get into the good stuff and change this formula. So I'm gonna go into that filter function and I'm gonna delete that condition where it had to match exactly. So that's the middle part of the formula. The table's still the same that we're filtering and if there's nothing that appears, we still want that no jobs to appear. But let's change that middle section. So I'm gonna build that is number formula, nested into the search formula, open brackets, we're gonna search for that cell of H5, comma, and we're gonna search for it in the row or the range of B7 to B175. Close the brackets, close the brackets again, and press enter. And there you go, that's how you build that if contains formula. I'm just gonna delete that build up so it works without those other formula. You can just change it here and it works really, really well. Now I know it's a difficult formula. I'll put a link in the description below to this particular workbook if you wanna have a look at it. 
and if you like, please subscribe or click that like button. Hope to see you next time.